Hello everyone, welcome back to our video class here at CSEC Math Tutor. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about how to reverse a percentage. Many people understand how to apply a tax to a cost price to get your selling price or a profit margin to a cost price to get your selling price and also how to apply a discount to a cost price to get your selling price. Many people understand that instinctively. Many other persons for that matter find it difficulty in, in, in reversing a percentage and that, by that I mean how to calculate the cost price given the selling price. So this is our objective for today and, and to use that we're going to use, just look at some CXC questions where we can wrap our minds around it and come up with a good understanding. So hopefully by the end of the lesson you will be able to better go about um, answering these questions and to just go into your exam and, and kill it. So here we have our first question and this is a typical question where we are going to find our selling price. So a customer sells its printers to customers, a company sells its printers to customers in order to make a 25% profit and we are supposed to calculate the price the customer would pay for a printer which the company bought for 1,700. So company bought it for 1,700 and they're going to sell it to make 25%. So the customer is going to pay the selling price, which is um, $1,700 plus the 25% um, profit. So the first thing we need to do here is to find that 25%. Let's say 25% over 100, that's times 1,700, and that gives us um, 25 times 17, and that gives us $425, which means now that the customer is going to pay $1,700 plus $425, which gives us um two thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars so this is our selling price and this number here is our cost price remember our selling price includes 25 percent profit now let's look at the same question but in reverse so a company sold a printer for two thousand one hundred and twenty five notice two thousand one twenty five and that is inclusive of twenty five percent profit what was the price before the profit was added? So the price before the profit was added was $1,700. So we're trying to find this $1,700. What many students do, not knowing, because th that background would not have been given, is that they go ahead and find 25% of um, 2125 And working this out using your calculator or otherwise, you get. Um, $531.25. And so, to finish the question, the student would normally write now 21.25 minus $531.25. And this would leave them with an answer of $1,593.75. Of course, this answer is incorrect. Let me just write that better. 159 because we already remembered that our cost price is supposed to be 1700 so how do we do it properly how do we reverse that percentage without making this kind of error obviously this is an error so remember now our cost price is always 100 percent our selling price is 100% plus or minus whatever you do to it. So in this case, if you're adding a profit, then it's plus 25%. If it was a discount, then you would minus whatever discount you're, you're dealing with. So our cost, our selling price here is going to be 125%. Now, in order to find what your cost price is, and that is what we want to find in this question, then we're going to write 100 over 125 because this number is not our cost price this number is our selling price and this selling price includes this 25 percent profit so this has to be taken out of the 100 has to be taken out of the 125 times 21 
125 here. Once you apply this, 125 into 2125, you get 17. And 100 times 17 gives you 1,700, which is what our cost price was. Here it is, $1,700. So this is how we actually go about answering these questions. You could look at it in another way. Say, all right then, the cost price is 100%. The selling price in this case would be 100% plus 25%. So this $2,125 is actually equal to 125%. So the next logical question is, what is 1%? And to get 1%, we do a division. So 2125 divided by 125 is equal to 17. So $17 is equal to 1%. And since the cost price is 100%, then we simply multiply 100 by 17. And we get our 1,700. We're going to do this a couple more times so that you will get a full understanding of it. Of course, if you want to do this one again, just rewind the video and watch it again. But let's move on to another question. So here, what price would the same company, um, this is, this is um, saying company, ignore that. What price would the company pay, have paid for a printer it sold for $2,500? So if it, if it sold it for $2,500 inclusive of a 25% profit, then remember, um, your cost price is 100%. Your selling price is going to be 100%, plus in this case, 25%. So it becomes 125. And so to find what your cost price is, we say 100 out of the 125 multiplied by $2,500. Now you can see here that 125 can divide 252 times, so this gives us 20. And so our cost price here is going to be 100 multiplied by 20, which gives us $2,000. Um, $2,000, exactly. Let's write it again another way. We know that the cost price is 100%. The selling price in this case is 125%. And this 125% amounts to $2,500. So how much is 1%? One percent is going to be equal to 2,500 divided by 125, which gives us $20. And so now 100% is going to be equal to $20 multiplied by, by 100, which gives us $2,000. So our price before the, the profit was added was $2,000. But you can look at it this way in terms of using the fraction, or you can look at it this way in terms of writing it out like this, whichever makes better sense to you and whichever makes you feel more comfortable. Either will work. Um, let's finish up this lesson by looking at two questions that pop up on your multiple choice um, paper often. Here's one that says, after a discount, an article is sold for $360. The price before the discount was, okay, so the price before the discount was given, that's what we're interested in. So let's remember, the cost price represents 100%. The selling price in this case is 100% minus, because a discount is always, is always subtracted. So we're subtracting 10%, which gives us 90%. And so to answer our question, what we're going to do is to say 100 over 90 multiplied by 360. 
because 360 is actually the selling price it is sold for okay we can divide our 90 into 360 and that gives us four and so four times um four times 100 here gives us the initial cost price of four hundred dollars so it was initially valued at four hundred dollars and because of the discount it was dropped down to 360. now be aware of these questions multiple choice questions are supposed to be tricky a well-written multiple choice questions will have answers that will anticipate all the errors that you make as a student so be careful that you know the correct technique for working out the question now suppose you had made the error of saying okay after a 10 percent discount an article is sold for this 360 okay so what is 10 percent of 360 10 percent that's 10 over 100 times 360 that gives us 36 bam here's your 36 my answer is a incorrect but you would have gone ahead and answered the question and you would have been happy to know that you got it right except that it was not so the proper way to do this the cost price is 100 percent the selling price in this case is 100 minus 10 because a 10 percent discount is subtracted and that gives you 90 percent so this selling price is actually 90 percent of the cost price and so we work it out that way you could use the other method if you wanted um divide this by 90 then multiply by four so we found out that our cost price was 400. let's look at the last one here at the end of any year a car is worth five percent less than what it was worth at the beginning of the year if the car is worth nine thousand five hundred five hundred dollars in december 2016 what was its value in january 2016 again these answers are supposed to be tricky but if you work it out correctly then you won't have a problem so let's go the car is worth five percent less so the initial cost price of the car at the beginning of the year was 100 percent the selling price using the same same model at the end of the year is going to be decreased by five percent which means that the value of the car the car is valued 95 percent of what it used to value so our the, the value of the car let's call it the cost price is equal to 100 percent over 95 percent multiplied by this price which is the worth at the end of the year notice that the cancellation comes out nice and easy 95 into 95 here goes one so this gives us 100 and now we simply have to multiply 100 times 100 to get our answer 100 multiplied by 100 is 10,000. and so the answer that we're looking for is b the car at the beginning of the year was worth ten thousand dollars at the end of the year it's worth nine thousand five hundred dollars i hope you would have gained a lot of experience and better clarity from watching this video and know you are able to work out these questions that is you're able to re reverse a percentage and find your cost price giving you a selling price as usual, you can find more practice materials at csecmathtutor.com in the past paper section or multiple choice practice questions or other um, material to work with. Remember to subscribe and share. Thank you for watching and best wishes as you continue to work hard and as you anticipate your exams.